Okay, buckaroo. Man, you got some bright glasses on, man. Where are we going to go today? We're going to go to the air show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stop. We're going to go to the air show and see the B2 bomber and see a doggy that keeps getting in the way. <laughs> see a doggy's furry butt and uh, see the F-22 Raptor, huh? And get to check out some really cool airplanes. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. You going to wear those cool, cool glasses? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. These are cool. Hey, we're all set up now. You want to go look at some cool airplanes? Is that Robosaurus over there, Buckaroo? Yeah. He's a giant robot, huh? That eats cars. This here is Robosaurus. He drives around. This is his head right here. And there's the wheels. And these old nasty cars over here are cars that he's going to chew up and eat up and flame throw on and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Here's the looking at the tail end of a C5. You can see right down the middle of it. These things are absolutely huge. The elevator there on the back is at least uh, 40 or 50 feet off the ground. We're going to go walk through it in just a few minutes. Not sure if this is a T38 or an F111. We're going to see uh, if we can investigate and check it out some more. What do you think happens right here? This, this is where the fire comes out, huh? Let's get a close look. How many engines do you think it has? Two. Two engines. Very, very good. That's the business end. Look at that. If we were standing right here when this thing was running, we'd be dead. We'd be crispy critters. Look at this big boy. You know what kind of plane this is, Buckaroo? What? This is a B-52. Do you know what the B stands for? What? Whenever a plane has a B as the first part of its name, that stands for bomber. And my understanding is, is when this thing's flying, the tips of the wings actually flex upwards over six feet. But right now, the wings are serving as a great shade device. The wings flex so much that look, they've got landing gear that's actually on the wings. That shaft coming down right there, the wheel at the bottom is actually landing gear for the wings. Two big old engines clustered together, four engines on each side. This is Julian standing next to one of eight wheels that the B-52 lands on. That's pretty big, huh? Pretty crazy inside here, isn't it? This is inside the bomb bay of the B-52. It's completely, uh, looks like it's completely isolated from the cockpit, which is up in this direction. Sorry. Hey, you want to go up inside the cockpit of the C-5 and check it out? Let's check this big boy out. Look at that monster. Look at that. This is inside the cargo bay of the C-5. The ceiling here is probably uh, about 17 to 20 feet tall off the deck. This is looking forward towards the back side of the cockpit of the uh, C-5. There's a stairway at the bottom there that we're going to walk up. Okay, using handrails. Here we go up the stairs into the cockpit of a C-5. The carrying capacity for this plane is 170,000 pounds. Oh, it's a C-17. What's the difference between this and a C-5? C-5, it's, uh, it's about 300,000 300, pounds bigger. Really? Yeah. It's So it's way bigger than this thing? Way bigger. However, wow. Like, if you imagine uh, capabilities of C-130 and mix them with almost the carrying capacity of a C-5, okay. you get a C-17. Okay. So, is there a C-5 here? There is. There's one over, over there. The nose can open up, too. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Very cool. Just awesome. This guy is tearing it up. He's in an inverted outside stall spinning around here. Is he coming at him? He is. Wow. Here they go. They're getting ready to go. Watch. 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 There he goes. There he goes. Here's the Jelly Belly airplane when it was aileron fell off. There he goes. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, my God. Hey, yellow airplane, what are you doing? Well, you know this is an air show going on, and it's not your airspace. I live in the United States of America. Rex Pemberton.
Her husband's leading the Great Trail, and it's a female pilot, his wife, spiraling around him. He's wearing a wingsuit. Just 26 years old and one of the up and weak in the air show business. Rex spirals down. He's going over 70 miles an hour in a parachute that has typically a forward speed of about 25 miles per hour. Rex jumped in the American flag earlier, and you can see. Pull back the ticket, then. Okay, this is near Mach 1. <laughs> Seven times the full gravity. He's going to pull the stick back and hit the afterburner, I think. In the Boeing F-A-18 Hornets. Yes! He returned to land. Watch, Julius. less than 100 miles an hour airspeed. Wow! <laughs> Here's the Raptor accompanied by two P-38s from the 1937 era. Wow! So this is the uh, cockpit we were in earlier. This is actually the C-17. I thought it was a C-5. And uh, that is a C-5. It's probably about 40% longer. We're going to go up into the tail ramp and take a look inside real quick on our way out to the car. The C-5 has the capability of flipping the nose up. The C-17 doesn't. There goes Tiger. Go on, Buckaroo. I'll catch up to you. Up into the back side of the C-5. This is so huge. The ceiling's at least 15 to 18 feet tall. This is the view inside of the C-5. In one end and out the other end. Incredible. This is looking into the front of the C-5. And there's the cockpit opened up up there.